I was scrolling down my recommended feed and I noticed that there was two videos that dropped that had new information in regards to Naruto Storm connections. Now, it is my duty to actually check out these videos because in my last video talking about this game, I wasn't the most positive person and I'm still not the most positive talking about this. I'm not gonna lie, Naruto Storm Connections is just like Naruto Storm Generations and Naruto Storm Revolution. It's that in-between game before they actually drop the real shit. But anyways, enough about that. Let me give this a chance to see what they're offering us and see if I will be willing to waste 60 bucks on the same game. The newest entry of the Naruto Ultimate Ninja Storm series has finally arrived. Packed with stunning new graphics, new features, and powerful ninja- I ain't see new shit. What the f- I don't need a narrator, man. I could- I got- I got two eyes over here. I could see what I'm seeing right now. I don't see new shit. <laughs> if someone told me this was Storm 4, I would believe them. Has finally arrived. Packed with stunning new graphics. Does this look like new graphics? Yo, is my settings quality a little bit too low? Wait, hold on. Is it on, it's on 1080p, right? Mm, looks just like Storm 4. Hey, I, if someone told me this was Storm 2, I would believe them as well. New features and powerful ninjutsu fused together in the next level of ninja battles. Okay. The story okay. of Naruto and Sasuke is retold in one game for the first time. Plus, there's even more with an exclusive new original story that's never been seen before. Okay, now I must say that's actually a positive. For one, I bought, the reason why I'm kind of salty about this game is because I actually bought the collections, the actual collections of the game, where you get to play Storm 1, Storm 2, Storm 3, and I just already had Storm 4. So the fact that they all got it in one game, that's really convenient, but I'm kind of pissed because I already wasted my money. Let's take a look at how this is the best Naruto game yet. Mm-hmm, okay. In this game, ninjas from Naruto's early days up to Boruto's generation join the battle. With 10 new characters and a total of over 130 playable ninjas, this game has the largest roster ever! The foundation of battle is made up of melee attack combos. See the variety of combos each character can offer. If I see that Minato combo one more fucking time. Extend your combos by changing leaders yeah, I don't understand. and use their If I play that game online, all you will bump into is a bunch of Minotos. That, yo, I literally got ran off of online. Quickly evade attacks with substitution jutsu. That's not no. But use it strategically because they can't be used forever. Ninjutsu can be used by charging up chakra. That's Get not new either. What the fuck? This is, y'all gotta understand. This is like, how many games they had? Storm one. Storm 1, Storm 2, Generation, Storm 3, Revolution, Storm 4. This is their seventh Storm game. I don't think at your seventh installment, we need an explanation in regards to the chakra gauge, gauge, whatever hell you pronounce it, and the substitutions. I understand that it's a game system trailer, but I'm expecting to see new shit for the trailer because we all know how to play this already. It's not that deep. And activate your ninjutsu to feel the intense action. From this game, ain't nobody the new buying this shit. Each character has we been all know already. This means in a three-man squad, you can now battle with up to six ninjutsu. See the newly evolved battles when you activate multiple ninjutsu. When your HP is low, you can turn the tide of battle with awakening mode. Okay. In this temporary form, characters gain enhanced strength and abilities to stage a comeback. Save up your chakra and unleash your secret technique. That's not all. If you form teams with specific characters, you can trigger combination secret techniques. Experiment with different teams to see all the possible combinations. Now you learn what it means. Okay, I think I'm about to skip all this and just go into the freaking Naruto versus Sasuke fight because until I hear something new, this is a waste of time. Hopefully, I'm gonna watch the entire video, but if I just skip it, I just see Naruto getting punched in the face, see, I know what happened. Simple Control is a new control mode option that unleashes a series of attacks more easily. Are they literally displaying us that this is a one button combat? <laughs> Bro, it's, like, it's a button mashing experience. Do they really have to show the controller outlet? Maybe my big ass head is actually blocking that out. Hold on, let me let me move my head real quick. They're literally showcasing the Com mechanics of the combo system that by just pressing the fucking circle easily. button. Complex action sequences are complex. Activated by pressing the attack button. You can it's 
all in one button. What the hell they mean by complex? Okay, let me stop being a hater. All right, proceed. A few moments later. Lastly, the new generation of ninjas take the stage in a really new story. New. Loser. Not at all. When are you going to? Just what are you? Wait. Are you seriously going to war? In other words, I will destroy the current ninja world and bring back a time of war. No one can stop it now. This era Dad and his friends made for us is the greatest in ninja history. Overcoming countless. Jesus Christ, I should have Yeah, I'm not one of those who actually enjoy the Japanese dub over the English dub, but yo, the voice acting for Boruto is hella cringy. I'm sorry. Spanning across time. This is my first time Legendary hearing this English Legendary ninjas news. reunite in Naruto! Naruto Cross Boruto Ultimate Ninja Storm Connections. Available November 17th. <laughs> So you're telling me they could have saved. Wait, when did they start talking about the story? Uh, at the three minute and a half part. So the rest of this video, they could have just cut that shit out, to be honest with you. We only needed this ending portion here, and that's not even telling me anything. Bro, I should have just clicked this video called it a day. They didn't say shit new. <laughs> They got a moving like this is Dragon Ball Z. God damn. That's one thing you can never take away from Storm games. They have one of the best cutscenes. Well, Bandai Namco itself because they did the same thing with Dragon Ball Z Kakarot. The gameplay's ass, but the cutscenes are fucking beautiful. I can see the I can see the rain droplets on Sasuke's face. Oh my god. <gasps> Naruto's being controlled. Is he about to punch Sasuke in the face? Oh no, he blocks it. Okay, let me shut up. <laughs> Ooh, that was actually clean. Yo, they just fucking blue balled me, bro. What the fuck? I thought I was going to see more than that. What the hell? I thought I was gonna see a little bit more than that. <laughs> I didn't even have to click on the video. We seen just the we just seen that same amount in the other video. All right. Anyways, guys, has my opinion changed in regards to this game? It's not a bad game. When I was talking about my opinion in the last video, I was saying my that was that's my opinion. That's my personal thoughts. I honestly think that for me, it's not worth being bought at full price, which is sixty bucks. I feel as though they should charge it at a discount. They should make it forty because I could literally get this entire gaming experience on Storm 4 for the exception of the 10 characters in a new story mode. But repeating the story, all that other stuff, for a dude who's been playing this game ever since it was like a JIT, I've experienced it and I still have access to most of those games anyway. The collectors, the collection edition was like very cheap. I think it was like 10 bucks. Yeah, this game does not deserve to be you no know, 60 bucks or 70 bucks. So. Not a bad, like, if you if you don't mind buying it, then, yo, it's a good game for you, you know what I'm saying? You'll enjoy yourself, but I'm just going to be honest. Like, I need to see something new. And I had to hold back my expectations because I had to come to the realization that, yo, this is not Storm 5. This is not any of that. They usually put a number. This is, like, their third game that has, like, no numeral, like, installment. It's just, like, the in-betweener, like, Generations and freaking Revolution. So my expectations shouldn't be high, but nor should my pockets be. You know what I'm saying? Like, yo, we broke out here, man. Like, come on, I got dust bunnies. I ain't trying to spend money on that. <laughs> like, all right, yo, I got storm. Yo, I got storm. What's it called? Storm connections. I got storm connections at home. I got the collections. Nigga, I could play that and call it a day. But anyways, guys, I'm gonna catch you guys later. Hope you guys have a good rest of your day or night whenever I upload this video. And yeah, man, peace out.